we're going to recreate this image from Haller Boss, and this is the starting image. I duplicate it by pressing Command J, and then I select Filter, Blur, Motion Blur, put it at 90 degrees, so it goes vertical 90 degrees and the distance of around 7 to 800 pixels I put I have to find the best amount and I choose to go around here okay now the whole image has been motion blurred and I only want it at the upper part, so I create a layer mask, pressing here. I select the gradient tool, make sure that it's black on white. I press shift, put my cursor and I go up. Maybe it's higher, try it again, keep pressing shift so this is the edge and go here a little bit over the edge oh it's put to darken the mode should be normal go a little bit over the edge and that's a straight line over here so it will be a good selection i'm going to Reduce the greenery over here. I press Shift, Option, Command, E to create a fused layer, combined layer of the two that already were present. Then I go to Image, Adjustments, and I desaturate. Now, I let a little bit of the original color come true. And I create a layer mask, again with the gradient tool, press shift, go a little bit higher, or maybe over here. Now I create an adjustment layer, curves, press OK, and I'm gonna give the image more contrast like this I create another adjustment layer again curves and I'm gonna make the whole image darker put it over here keep the contrast in it and on this layer mask here I'm going to create a selection, ellipse tool, select this first one, now you can move your selection, put it here, I select the paint, the bucket tool, the color should be black on the white mask over here, I deselect by pressing command or control D, Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and I put it really high, around 800 to 1000, that's ok, now the edges are darker, and this area here, I really want to be bright at the end of so I don't want this area to be brighter, so I select the brush, the size is ok, hardness to zero, and with black on the originally white mask, I paint in, put the opacity at 100, so you really can see the light coming back over here. That's the bright area that I want in my end 
image. Now I want the light to be even more to the center, so I create another layer, an adjustment layer, curves again, I drag it down again, making the image even darker. Really dark, like this. Okay, then this layer mask I'm going to turn black so you won't see anything of this layer. I do this by pressing Command or Option I. Then I select the brush. I use a bigger brush, about 1400. The opacity I put around 15 to 20 and with white I'm gonna paint on this black layer. Even more. Every time you go over you have to click and gives 16% extra of the color selected and it's white over here. I'm gonna use a smaller brush around 250 more or less and this area is here I want to darken extra. I want all the tension going to the center and not to the sides. So here at the bottom So the light is really going to the center of the image. Okay. Now I want to give the upper part of the image a different color. So I create an empty layer. I'm going to pick a color of the original image. The eyedrop tool. Select this color over here. So this color is set here. I use the bucket. And I paint this whole layer. In this color. Now I'm gonna put the mode onto color. I'm gonna let a little bit of the original color come through. So I put it around 70%. But now the whole image is colored and I only want the upper part to be colored. So I have to use a mask on this part, but maybe also on the trees themselves. So they retain their original color a little bit more. So for this I go to image and I duplicate the image. I merge the layers. I say OK. And this image, I'm going to change the image mode. I go to image mode and to LAB color. Then I go to channels and I select the lightness. And I'm gonna change this image here. I'm gonna give it more contrast. I press Command M. 
I'm gonna put the dark over here and the light, the brightness, brighter areas over here. So it's really, really contrasty. Select OK. I go back to the original image and this layer I will be using as a mask. So I go back to the original image layers. This layer is selected. I create a layer mask on it. I go to image, apply image, and now I select the copy I created. And from this copy, I can choose the lightness, the A or the B channel. So I choose the lightness channel. You can put it now on normal or multiply, it doesn't matter. It's the first one that you apply, so press OK. But I'm going to let a little bit of the color come through, so I'm going to put it in at 75%, something like that, or let's say 80%. Okay, and now this image has been used as a mask over here. I can make it visible by pressing Option and clicking on it. That's the mask. And now I want the original color from this part to go to come true so I select the gradient tool and here on this edge I have to put it on the mode darken I press shift go up here, oh, it's the wrong side. Control, Control Z, Command Z, I mean, Command Z. It should be the other way round. So, in this bottom part, the original color will pass through. This part I want to be a little brighter, so. I'll create another adjustment layer, curves, OK, more brightness on that area, OK, on this layer mask, I'm going to turn it black, Command I, I select the brush tool. 400 more or less it should be white okay 35 percent yeah. 30 25 go over once here a little bit I really put the light on this part of the forest floor. And here you want some, I, I want some more light in the background. So I use a bigger brush, 30% still. I'm gonna let the light shine through a little more over here. If you compare with the original, it's not totally the same, but it's the same. 